Good morning. <clears throat> so I just wanted to come on really quick. Just a quick one because I got to head out the door afterwards. Um, last night, uh, well, first, let me rewind a second. So the beginning of my walk, <clears throat> I was led to um, watch certain people's channels because, you know, I believe that there are no coincidences with the Lord Jesus Christ that he knew that I was in search of truth. And so he put me on course at the beginning of my walk um, where I found a couple people's channels. And as you know, with YouTube, if you're searching for uh, truth, truthful content, that it's very far few in between. Um, so I do thank the Lord Jesus Christ that, uh, that I came across um, some channels. Because again, you know, what do you type? in the search engine when you're looking for truth on YouTube. It's like, uh, it's almost, you know, um, almost ridiculous because again, they, um, have their algorithms where uh, pages will come up that they want you to see versus ones that you actually are looking for. Any event. <laughs> so I came across a Sister in Christ's channel. Uh, her channel's ca called uh, Extreme Reality Check. I will copy and paste a link to one of her recent videos. I actually watched the whole thing in one sitting last night, which is almost four hours long. <clears throat> and I know that may seem excessive to some of you, like, oh, I could never sit down for four hours. Well, I don't watch TV. I don't have Netflix, Hulu, Amazon. Uh, I spend my, my spare time seeking truth honestly, or, or posting videos like this one to be helpful to others or read his word. So yeah, I don't, I don't spend, I, I don't watch TV. So yes, four hours may seem a lot to someone, but it, I, I've heard people binge watch things on Netflix where the, the episodes are, what, 40 minutes long, so to each their own anyways. So I wrote down in my notebook a couple days ago, and uh, it's an interesting question, and you may want to um, take a moment and ask yourself this. <clears throat> The question I wrote down was, when do you start asking yourself that what you're doing may be fruitless? So I thought it was a good question and it made me contemplate a lot of different things, especially in the times that we're living in, especially for those of us who we are supposed to be fruitful during these times and helping one another. And um, so, yeah, I hope that, I'm gonna read it one more time. I hope that it gets some of you to really think about the question in, in your own life. <clears throat> when do you start asking yourself that what you're doing may be fruitless? So again, I'm gonna copy and paste the link to Jan's channel she's great. You know, she's definitely anointed. She, she knows what she's talking about. She works really hard to make these videos and put them out. 
So I would definitely subscribe to her. And um, yeah, she has a lot of truth content. So I love you. I hope everyone is having a good week so far. I'm having a good day today because uh, my shower valve had broken. I don't know. I would have to say almost a month ago and so I haven't been taking showers I wash my hair in the kitchen sink and I've just been washing up you know like without taking a shower and uh, the plumber came today and I haven't tried it out yet but I'm <laughs> looking forward to taking a hot shower probably tonight or tomorrow morning so so I'm very excited the uh, you know the stuff that we get excited about you know <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, love you and...